Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSoftPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. There are so many equations out there that relate the variables pressure, volume, moles, and temperature of a gas to each other. They go by a lot of different names like Boyle's Law and Charles Law, but really I think it's a waste of time to memorize all those different equations. The only equation you really need to remember is PV equals NRT. And the great thing about this equation is that you can rearrange it as much as you need to. For instance, in this case, I'm going to divide both sides by NT. That's going to cause the variables N and T to cancel out, leaving me with PV divided by NT equals R. And R is a constant, and so I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep everything equal to the same thing, right? So for instance, in this case, we're multiplying the pressure by 3. If I'm going to keep everything equal to a constant, I also need to multiply N by 3. So the number of moles needs to triple. And if I'm going to increase the number of moles from one mole to three moles, I'm going to need to add two moles of gas to get myself there. Therefore, the answer to this question is B. Two moles of gas need to be added. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we will see you next time.